here at the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Museum in Baltimore, Maryland uh, for a little off-track bonus. And this is going to be a weird off-track bonus because there's literally track. Yeah, I, I've been waiting to say that this whole time. But we're outside, parking lot. As you can see, there's parking between all kind of cars here. We haven't even made it inside yet, but waiting to go in. I got my nephew and my dad with me doing a little little family trip. It's actually the day before Thanksgiving. So we decided to come down here and check it out because we all had the day off. This isn't my first time here at this museum. And for those who wonder, if you've been to Baltimore, this is literally only a few blocks down the road from Camden Yards. I wouldn't be surprised if they were connected at one time, you know, through the rails and everything, since Camden Yards is uh, an old train yard. That's how it gets the name Yards. Camden Yards kind of played off the name. But, um, yeah, we came here as kids with my parents, and then I came here when I worked for a local newspaper in my neighborhood uh, years ago and uh, did a little tour back then. So this is, I think, my third time, unless I was here another time or two when I was real young. I can't remember, but I think it's been, I think this is my third. Yeah, my nephew wants to go inside, so I better go catch up. They're almost down there. I'm down here filming. But I'm sure he'll be happy to see himself in another, another little Weaver Inverted video. And we're at the caboose. Yeah, my fat butt ran all the way down here to catch up with everybody, but that's weird. We we're all the way down there at the end. Now we're here. And to the magic of editing, next thing you see, we should be inside. Camden Yards before they butchered the left field wall. For those of you that wanted to know what the different scales were, I often wondered when I see videos on YouTube and stuff and go to the different train gardens. And the numbers are the scale to actual size. This is the one we used to play with when we were kids all the time. Over here is full scale, one to one. Got a bunch of like model trains here, showing the history. Reminds me of like some of the stuff I used to see up at the Stroudsburg Railroad Museum and uh, train area up in Pennsylvania, not too far away from Dutch Wonderland. Highly recommend going there too. I should do an off track up that way. You can even actually ride a steam engine up there too. I think you can do it here as well, but I've never done it here. This is kind of cool. My nephew's over here kind of lights up the different areas of the train. You can see what they're all about inside. This is pretty wild. Did not realize that some of the earliest passenger cars literally look like stagecoaches. Then they started progressing. It's pretty wild like just how far technology advances in every industry. Not just the coaster industry.
I wish you the rest of your name here, sir, and pay a dollar duty on you. My master paid the dollar and pointed to the hand. Interesting and sad fact, obviously, once you hear what I'm about to say, this roof years ago actually collapsed in a major snowstorm and I believe it damaged some of the stock, sadly. But it looks nice in here now. I mean, that wood is nice and new looking, even though this is probably over a decade old, at least by now. I had to check the dates. I have no idea off the top of my head. I just know that it did collapse. Here's some of those old passenger trains I saw as models in one of the prior gallery areas. And yeah, there's music playing in the background, so copyright. Even in the train museum, I get a copyright. Oh, at least it's a good 80s song. If you can even hear it, it's playing on the other side of the museum. But if you want to see what these look like inside, kind of roomy. I can imagine pretty bumpy. This is like the, the leap that dips the coaster trains. Yeah, all my, all my coaster following friends will get that one. If you're checking this out and you're not following me for the coaster stuff, you probably are like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Here. It looks like they got some kind of event coming up with these tables and you know, all these little standees up in front of the tracks. But yeah, this got a lot to film in here as you can see. trains themselves are like a work of art like the variation in like the body structure the colors like everything they're really wild and like even the style of each locomotive is like vastly different which you'll see when I compare it with the one you're about to see this one is hard to get all in shot without this beam blocking part of the view but like I've never seen a locomotive like this before unless well unless I saw one of my earlier visits when I was a kid I just forgot but yeah, this thing is weird. They're like, yeah, like between that, the one I just showed you, and then you turn around this way, and you got, you got like another one. And these things are, like I said, they're like works of art. For those wondering, this roundhouse with why it's called a roundhouse is because it would have a moving platform here in the middle and as you can see there's tracks that lead to every little area where these trains are they're like spokes coming off like a bicycle tire and they could park trains and everything on all the different um, spokes and then just I guess push or move whatever stock they needed out here to the round table and then position it where they needed to move it to or out I guess outside to the yard or whatever but it's pretty cool I've always seen these in like old video and stuff like that but this one's here in the museum they actually have a little video here in the info area that uh, shows how this turntable works 
like they got like a bunch of tables and everything set up here for an event coming up it looks like so ignore all that stuff I don't think it's usually here there's some more of your engines and such ones that more resemble what you know you picture in your mind other than you know compared to those ones I just showed you earlier but even these things like all black I mean these things are crazy looking When I first saw this thing, I was like, what is that? I thought it was like a damaged train or like something like a skeleton of it. But it's actually a clearance car where they stick out all these spokes and they can tell if something's too close. I guess if they get bent backward. But yeah, this thing is strange looking. Definitely something you're not gonna see anywhere else, I don't think. Hey, it's going on a little journey. Looks like you can walk through some of the trains and the carts. That's where we're heading. see things like this and I'm like man how does anyone know like what all this stuff does it's crazy to be able to memorize all that stuff This is probably how they send some of the pins that Steven from Throwback sends me when they take forever to get here. Hey, it's a potty. And you thought your bathroom was small. It's crazy to think that this actually happened and, and it's not really that long ago. Another bathroom. Apparently that is the whites only section. We are in the segregated section. And as you can see, a lot different. Looks like the end of the walkthrough area for those. outdoor portion of the museum. This one you actually, I think, have to be a paid, you know, admission to go through. The stuff out in the parking lot, you don't. So yes, they do do train rides here. I've never done one. Maybe one of these days I'll come back and do that as a separate, separate thing. I know the Christmas train rides look like they're about to come up from some of the ads I've been seeing walking around. There's like a whole outdoor train garden out here. I never knew any of this stuff existed. Like I knew some of these trains were outside and then the possibility that they were doing the actual rides. Cause I remember them talking about that like years ago, but I wasn't sure if that ever actually happened. But yeah, they really built this area up.
Okay, well I guess this video fits. It is an amusement park ride. I don't know if it works, but... Check out them restraints. It's tarped over, but I assume you can ride this. Or maybe at least send it around or something, but it looks like it's got little chairs for kids in it. Check out this massive door where they roll the trains in. We're still outside here. We're about to go in a cafe, get a hot dog or something. They had some good prices from what I saw. Birthday party for children now? I'm sure a bunch of old guys would love this too. Yep, apparently they have party train and all kind of stuff out here. Not quite sure. It's the first time I saw for what they actually do. Mark trains. See quite a few of these riding around the area. Got another train garden here. This time we are actually inside of a train car, which is cool. And another Baltimore theme. It's actually got a B&O warehouse here, which was, or still is there, at Oriole Park at Camden Yards. So this is representing what it would have looked like before. But this is neat. Didn't even realize they had these over here. A couple other the train cars, there's like a caboose and a refrigerated car. It looks like some other ones further down the track, so I'm going to try to get in those too before we conclude our stay. Hope you guys like these off-track videos. And, you know, I wouldn't mind if you guys, you know, like, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff that everyone always asks you to do in the videos. It really does help. I never usually ask, but I'd like to see that follower count. And, you know, engagement rise a little bit. It's always, it's always nice, to, you know, that people are watching and stuff. But that's this car, so on to the next. I'm in one of the cabooses with my nephew, who calls me Unk. Let's see the potty. <coughs> Yeah, I don't think you can use that. Let me sit up here. I guess this is where... This is a costume. Looks like there's actually some more stuff out here we can go check out too. Nice clean window. Probably gonna get one of those messages on my phone to clean my lens off, even though it's not my lens. Here's the store. More storage. And here's the store. Yeah, this is probably where they kept all their their belongings and stuff like that. That's where they kept. And this is where they cook dinner. Alright, on to the next train. I am actually inside a refrigerated car. This thing is massive. I didn't realize trains were this, some of them would be this tall. But it's listed as a cryo trans car. And here's a uh, fun little info panel about a train robbery where they got a bunch of ice cream. Do you know? Here's the cryo trans timeline. And you got a little theater down there kind of telling you the history of the company and the trains. Kind of neat. And here's the outside of the cryo trans car. Like I said, this thing is tall. I mean, like you can see side by side here, like 
the right, train on the left. This thing it's got some height to it. And in comparison to what's listed as the theater car down here. I mean, look at this height difference. So I'm sure there's tunnels and bridges this thing cannot pass under. Let's enter the theater car here. Take a peek inside. Yeah, my, my lighting assistant. <laughs> You're good. You don't have to hide. There, I got the first one. Yeah, I already did that one. You can light it up again if you want. I don't care. Get a better view. This is the dinner car. It's got all that ugly china that no one ever uses. Very expensive. And very ugly. That's right. Deer Park Spring Water. I did not know it was that old. Here's the view from the other side of that big cryo trans train I was talking about and inside of earlier. You can just see how much bigger it is from this better view on this side. Pretty long too. Okay, I can see if they actually make all boxcars that size now. Maybe that's just like a newer train than these older ones. But you can see the other refrigeration car over there. It's a lot smaller. Filmed this car like three times until we missed a sign that my dad saw. So yeah, it is taller. All right, about to make our way into another train here. guy and this is tight. This is definitely one of the weirder trains. Looks like it's like a dining room, bunk area, kitchen sink, cold storage. It's like the Swiss Army knife of trains. It's like everything in one. I believe this is the last train I still have to go through. It's listed as a Pullman. Sorry about not knowing all the terms and everything. I'm not up on my train history. Oh, bunk beds with guns. Is that an M1? Yeah. These bunks go up pretty high. to look this up and it says Hershey wear on it. I don't know if it goes goes or belongs to somewhere in the town of Hershey where Hershey Park's at. <laughs> 